Hi, Ed Dickerson again with Thinkers Not Reflectors. You know, we talked about how some uh, supposedly very bright educators that don't think that parents can teach their children the difficult subjects. I find this amazing because these experts are supposed to have studied things like educational psychology and uh, child development and so forth, and if they really had, if they really paid attention, if they were, well, shall I say it, thinkers rather than just reflecting the common attitudes, they'd realize that the three most important things that children learn, the most difficult things they learn in their lives, they learn at home, under the age of five, with amateur teachers. It's always amazing to me. First of all, they learn to walk. That may not seem like a difficult task to you, but I, I tell you, ask someone who's been in an accident, had their pelvis broken, and has had to learn to walk all over again as an adult. It's a daunting task. Psychologists divide the brain into three domains, and they call that one psychomotor because it's the brain interacting with the muscles. Walking is a complex psychomotor task, and children learn at home. I had a friend once who was a uh, homeschooler, but was also a physical therapist, and I asked him if he did anything special to teach his children to walk, and he smiled and said, no, of course not. You see, we teach them to walk because we encourage them when they do well. We don't punish them for doing badly. If we spank them when they fell down, they soon hate to try to walk. So that gives us the beginnings of a model for how we can teach almost anything. Because you see, children want to walk, but children also want to do other things that they need to do. They also learn at home how to talk. And talk they do once they get going. It can be really amazing. Talking is a very complex cognitive task. That's another domain of the brain. And what I say is a cognitive task. Think about it. They learn that sounds that they hear are symbols, and those symbols apply to other things, to a shoe or a table, or even to things they can't see. I love you. Children learn that very early. It's an amazing task. And they learn to speak. All of them learn differently. All of them learn in their own way, but we help them in the same way. We encourage them, and the minute we think they're saying something intelligible, even maybe if it isn't, did you hear him say, Dad? He said, Dad, I know he did. We encourage them, and they begin to pick it up, and they want to do more and more. So learning to talk is not hard, and they learn it from us, just naturally. We're teaching them just as we teach them to walk. They see us walking around, they want to do the same. They see us talking, hear us talking, they want to do the same. The third thing that we teach them at home at a very early age is toilet training. And this is a really complicated task, which is the only one we ever mess up. And it's funny, because it's the first one we try to do any formal teaching on. Maybe that's trying to tell us something. You see, every child will learn to be potty trained or toilet trained when, when they're ready. Uh, there's a book out in the library that's called Toilet Training in a Day. And I always say it works every time. All you have to do is pick the right day. And, but that's the key for all learning. If you pick the right time, when the child is ready, they will learn almost anything. But you see, toilet training is the only one that we mess up seriously because it's the one where we get involved. It's our ambition, our timetables, our desires, our egos get all tangled up in their abilities and their needs. You know, there's always somebody who says, what, he's how old and he's not toilet trained yet? He's how old and he hasn't done this? She's how old? And of course, that hurts our ego and we worry about it. And then we try to do things and usually we mess up. So if we're going to be effective teachers of other things, we need to understand that all learning in the end is like toilet training. That is to say, if you pick the right day, it'll work the first time. And that is a key. Now, the great child psychologists, and the great teachers, Jean Piaget and Maria Montessori, were those who observed children. They watched them. They didn't tell them. They listened. And that's what happens. As you observe your children as they grow, they will demonstrate they have deep and abiding interests and talents 
And what you want to do as a teacher is the same thing that you want to do when they want to walk or they want to speak. You encourage their attempts, you help them as much as you can, you don't push them, you let things develop as they will. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that they can just rule the household. And how that's taken of, care of, we'll talk about in another video. But for now, remember the three most difficult tasks your children will ever learn. They learn at home, with amateur teachers under the age of five. If you can teach someone to speak, to walk, and to be toilet trained, everything else is simple. But that's because we've thought about it instead of just reflected. Remember, the future belongs to thinkers, not mere reflectors of other thoughts. Remember that till next time, and I'll see you then. We'll talk about more about how to help children learn. Till next time then.